Welcome back to the channel guys. It's your boy a Lynn and we Back today with another video man. So look first and foremost if you guys are new to the channel Make sure y'all go down and hit that subscribe button. Also leave a like on this video as it helps the channel grow Thanks Yeah, very much But anyways, we are back today with another sneaker review and as you guys can see it is another Nike Dunk Low. Like I said in the last video, man, I'm tired of seeing Nike Dunk Lows, man. They That's all they dropping nowadays. There's no even really like Jordans coming out, you feel me? But if y'all like Nike Dunk Lows, I usually grab almost the majority of the releases. So y'all can check out the channel. I have um, a couple more coming up that I gotta drop and review. So yeah, make sure y'all sub to the channel, like I said. But anyways, getting to this unboxing and review. Oh, uh, this is the Nike Dunk Low Georgetown. It's a pretty cool colorway from the pictures when I first seen it. Wasn't able to pick up a pair myself because when they released, I was working hard those two weeks. It was like a deadline at my job. So um, y'all let me know how y'all did on the release day where you guys able to secure a pair. I know, this I know this review is coming a little late, but better late than never, right? So right here we have the box, regular Nike box um, around the orange box. Nike logos on the top, the size, and all that. And then right here we have the size tag. This is a size 10 and a half. And um, retail on these was $100. So it just reads Nike Dunk Low Retro. Color code is Wolf Gray slash Dark Obsidian. Like the Georgetown co uh, College, man. But just unboxing it on the inside right here. We have the regular, 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 regular. Gray paper, white paper, whatever on the dunks. And yeah, just flipping it open. We have the sneakers right here. All right, so first things first. Like I said, this sneaker is pretty clean. The two, like the, the gray and the dark obsidian, it's like a mismatch and it's like pretty nice, I do have to say. So yeah, first off the bat, really clean colorway. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little B-roll to see how they look, Um, you know, on all the details and stuff like that. And if you guys wanna compare like real versus fakes, you guys could do that. So yeah, let's cut to a B-roll. All right, so coming back from the B-roll, as you guys could see, it is a clean colorway, like I keep saying, but let's just break down the colorway. So as for colorway, it's three colors. Um, well, white on the midsole, we don't really talk about that, but then the dark obsidian and then the wolf gray. So the wolf gray is on the toe box, the mid panel, and the back area right here, and then also on the tongue. And then we have dark obsidian around the toe box, the Nike swoosh, up the lace holes, and this back area right here. Also the ankle collar on the inside is in that dark obsidian and this back right here is in dark obsidian, the tab uh, with Nike stitched in in wolf gray. And then the outsole is also in dark obsidian. Now the detail on the tongue, Nike is um, in that wolf gray with dark obsidian being on like the tab. And then the laces are dark obsidian. I don't think they come with an extra pair of laces. They do not. Uh, and then the insole, is that wolf gray with the orange nike logo on the inside so yeah that pretty much breaks down the colorway of and then white on the missile can't forget that so that pretty much breaks down the colorway of the sneaker and now let's talk about materials man these are a uh, nike dunk low retro so they're following like the same materials that were used on the other ones and yeah it's pretty like that leather that's on dunks it's not the best quality leather and it's kind of like this plasticky feel on them and you just feel like this is not the best leather at all and then the midsole and outsole is just purely rubber man this is a rubber compound that's about it for the materials man dunks are pretty simple now as for sizing though i do recommend everybody going down half a size on nike dunk lows uh so i'm a nine i usually get all my dunks in the eight and a half so yeah just do that because they fit like kind of long you feel me pause on that and yeah, just got a half size down. You guys should be good to go on these. And with sizing, I always talk about comfort. Um, like I always say on Dunks, six out of 10 comfort, man. There's no really technology in there that gives you that boost feel or that, you know, uh, react feel or anything like that. There's really no cushioning in the system. What the fuck? Like in the shoe. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I would say six out of 10 because it is pretty light and it's low top. And you know, 
So yeah, like five, six out of ten, yeah, for dunks. Um, these are unfortunately a size 11, so I won't be having an on feet. I wish I would give you guys an on feet. If I could have my friend wear them, I will, you know, give you guys an on feet. So if that happens, I'll include it here. If not, we're just gonna jump straight into the resale predictions. Now, as for resale on this sneaker right now, um, retail was $100, so you know, not bad. And you guys, uh, they're selling bigger sizes for like 200 right now smaller sizes like eight through nine and a half and ten i think it's like around 175 ish so like i said these are a pretty cool colorway and it follows like a college theme so they probably rise up in value i do think like these are pretty similar to the michigan dunks and they'll probably go up to like 250 ish especially in the big sizes small sizes i can see like low 200s but I think these are cleaner than the Michigans, in my personal opinion, but the Michigans are a classic, so it's kind of like give or take, but these are definitely cleaner in my personal opinion. So I do see these going up to like 250, man. So if you guys want to buy these now, not a bad idea. And um, a lot of stores like released them, or I think Full Locker released them. I don't know if Nike released them yet, but Full Locker definitely released them and Snipe. So yeah, make sure y'all pick these up. But you know, there's always like late shipments coming in with the supply chain issues and stuff over in Cali. So just make sure y'all stay tuned to y'all like local stores and you know, check in with them and just ask questions, man. Ain't nothing wrong with no asking questions. Like, yeah, they be hating. They don't be answering you. Like they be tight, but yo, fuck that. You gotta ask them questions. Like, yo, I need the Georgetown Dunks. When are y'all getting them? And maybe one day you meet like somebody nice and they tell you, they be like, yo, we getting them next week. Pull up, feel me? But yeah, that's just my resale predictions on these, man. Now I'm gonna wrap things up with my final opinion on this sneaker. Uh, from the jump, like I always said, this was a pretty clean colorway. Will I be adding these to my collection? Um, I will, I will, what the fuck? I won't be adding these to my collection just because I have a uh, ample amount of pairs of dunks already. I think I have four pairs now. And it's just like, yeah, like it would be cool to have these in the stash, but I didn't pick them up for $100. So there's no point of me, um, you know, really, adding these if i'm not paying retail for them and i just bought a new laptop and a bunch of other stuff so yeah your boy gotta save a little bit of money so i'll be passing on these unfortunately but they are a very clean pair of sneakers man but yeah that pretty much wraps up this video y'all comment down below how y'all feel about these man uh are they w are they a l did you pick up a pair are you going to pick up a pair did this video sway you i don't know man but y'all let me know comment down below it's your boy a -Lin. I'm checking out. Y'all make sure y'all stay safe and stay swaggy, man. We out.